Fashion is my language. It's the way I talk, better than words, I would say. It's a form of art that can touch someone purely. It's this mix of different disciplines in where I really find the source of my inspiration. When I meet a scientist or an artist, I try to learn every day in the atelier. That's how I feel that fashion can move forward. I think there's real magic happening when different disciplines come together and learn from each other. For some people, technology is an inspiration, but I don't think it works that way for me. Technology really is a tool. Adobe had an open-minded approach to the collaboration. They hoped to spark the creative process in combination with technology. When I translate the textures that I have in my mind, it really becomes a puzzle. I have to combine the different tools in order to get there. It was a very natural fit to collaborate. The Adobe dress is inspired by Tsuminigashi, and there is a Japanese technique in which they use the water motion with little drops of ink to create these organic patterns that might look random, but when you start to zoom in, there is a very beautiful precision within the chaos. A design can enhance something that is closer to nature. The more you zoom in, the more you realize how the world is one living organism. My work reflects that interconnectivity on a microscopic scale. Often it's built from thousands of little pieces that are all connected. It's just really pure, vast space of possibility. The design was drawn by Iris and we image traced it in with the tools from Illustrator. Cleaned it up, warped it into exactly what we wanted it to look like. Then I can go into Photoshop and start warping the print to match her design. Sometimes I find the making process even more beautiful to see than the final end result. Here, the actual handwork is often part of the design process little mistakes that will happen, we actually like them. And then the design starts changing within the final stages. When I'm confident enough about direction, we start sampling in materials. We translate it into patterns because we have to go around the body. If you look at marine biology, 95% is undiscovered. And I think that's the same way within fashion. That's why I really believe in bringing fashion into a stronger dialogue within other disciplines, science, biology, or even architecture. The very best moment is always when it goes onto the body for the first time, because then you really see the relationship with the skin underneath and the movement of somebody walking. Then it really comes alive. I think the dress represents this organic flow of traditional craftsmanship together with technology. I want the pieces that we create to stand on themselves. But it's nice to see if a dress can influence the wearer. Creativity is a very pure form of self-expression. It's looking at life from different perspectives and trying to capture the complexity of it. I really believe that fashion has so much more to it than we see today. It needs to touch all the layers of life and that's what the work is really about.